Good morning to all of you all. Uh, it's a very pleasant day that we have Sri Bharat Gup, a very great eminent scholar amidst us, to share his years and years of accumulated wisdom. I don't even say it's a uh, lecture. Wisdom that he has accumulated over years of reading and years of observation that he is generously going to share with us for the next five days. We welcome Bharatji. Namaste. We request Srimati Sh Samson, Director, to light the lamp and start the lecture. We also request Bharatji and Sadhana Balakrishna Ashan to light. We also request Mrs. Bharat Kut to Uh, the lecture starts, the, every day's lecture would have a five days, five hour session. Morning we'll have three hours, and we'll have a one hour lunch break and two hours in the post noon session. The lecture starts by 9 a.m. and by 12 o'clock we close the forenoon session. 12 to 1 we have a break and 1 to 3 we have the afternoon session. I repeat the timing for all the people who come from outside. It's from 9 to 12 in the morning and one to three in the afternoon. Uh, if in case you need lunch to be arranged in Kalakshetra canteen, we may request you to give your name so that we will prepare that well in advance for tomorrow or whatsoever it is. Uh, this is regarding the infrastructure. There's water facility outside. If you want to have water, it's just outside. Uh, we welcome all the participants who have come from outside. And we also request that whosoever I, I think all of you are registered. If you're not registered, we request you. There's a counter there, uh, and you, you can register yourself. And there's a display of uh, CDs and books for your purchase. With this note, we start the lecture of Dr. Bharat Gupta on Nati Shastra. We welcome. Thank you. Should I begin? Champe a go the shari ragaye Karapur a go the shari ragaye Dhamilakaye Chajata dharaya namaha shivaya cha namaha shivaya 
ವರ್ಣಾಮಸಂಘಾಂಗಲಾಕರ್ತಾರಿನಾಯಕ madam director leela ji students faculty all the learned participants in this 25 hour program beginning now let me say that i feel blessed to be here at this very premium institute of not only the country but of the world this institute of dance established by the legendary rukmini devi and which has produced so much creativity we are talking now from today onwards about a text which is the primary text for dance the natya shastra the format of this event would be something like this i would be speaking for about half an hour and then i will invite questions on what i have spoken for half an hour raise your hand feel free to ask questions and uh, then after 10 minutes or 15 minutes we'll go back to my talking and we'll go on in this way so that there is total interaction now this is not a very regular kind of a lecture where you are just given something this is approaching a particular text which is a living text because it has been adopted by the artists and the creative people of this country for a very long time for almost 2000 years more than 2000 years and this text has been directing them helping them to discover and create new things constantly so it is your text it has a heavy word called shastra but don't get scared by this word shastra a text is useful to us provided we know how to approach it the world's best text would not be useful if we don't know how to go about it and what is said that shraddhavan labhate gyanam one who has some kind of a shraddha now shraddha does not mean blind faith right it does not mean mere reverence shraddha means searching for a value and accepting that a particular thing is of value unless you believe that this is of value you will get nothing out of it the word shraddha is the same root as shraddh and you know as hindus you would know what is shraddh that is offering your oblations to your ancestors because you think your ancestors are people of value it's not out of just a blind uh, blind activity or a blind faith if you have lost faith in your ancestors which means your heritage which means what you have got from them then i would say that nothing else would matter so we approach this text 
not just taking for granted, but with a full confidence that it is a valuable text and we have to get something out of it. We have to make a meaning out of it. I hear a lot of people over now almost more than a generation, 25, 30 years, people say, this is very complex, it's very confused. We don't know what is there in Natya Shastra. There are many contradictory things in it. Of course, it is so because we do not make a sincere and a sustained effort in trying to analyze the text and put it together. There were methods of doing it. As I go along, I shall talk about them. They have been documented and we will go along that method. And once you do that, then you find that there is nothing mysterious, nothing mystic, nothing fuzzy about the text. And it is in that sense a proper Shastra. Now what is a Shastra? Let me give you a simple answer to the question, what is a Shastra? Shastram iti shasano payam. A Shastra is an instrument of a discipline. Shasan. Shasan here does not mean administration, but a discipline. When you take admission to this institute, the first thing you know, you should know, is the parameters of work here, the discipline in which you are going to learn.